Chapter 10, section 2 is entitled Areas of Circles. We start with the formula for area of circle. Now, we've worked with circles already this year, and I'm not just talking circle graphs. We did circumference of circles back in chapter 1. Circumference for a circle, remember, is the other word for perimeter. Formula for area of a circle. A equals pi r squared, where A equals the area. Pi equals 3.14. 3.14, as you know, is something we've rounded. It's actually that thing that goes on forever and ever and ever. Usually, on, we do it as a fraction. We'd write 22 sevenths. The problem with using the actual number or the pi button on a calculator, though, is your final answers are also going to go on forever and ever and ever. So as opposed to doing that, we just use 3.14. It helps us come up with nice short answers that we can work with. And r equals the rate. Again, the formula is A equals pi r squared, where A equals the area, pi equals 3.14, rounded, and r equals the radius. In case you forgot, let me refresh your memory. The radius is the distance from the center to the edge of the circle. It's halfway across the circle. The diameter is all the way across the circle. So that being said, Two radii make one diameter. One radius is half a diameter. And the last reminder, area, when we're giving an answer for area, not the radius of the diameter, but when we're looking for an answer for area, it's always units squared. So feet squared, centimeters squared, yards squared, miles squared, kilometers squared, whatever squared. Now there's not much I can do here to try and trick you. There's just so many things I can do with this section. The main thing you're going to have to look out for is when I use the word radius and when I use the word diameter. But that's the main thing I'm going to do. Make sure if it says diameter that you're doing the right thing before you start or after you come up with the answer. Other than that, there's not much I can do to complicate this assignment. Okay, so let's get into the examples. Example one, a circle has a radius of three meters. Find its area. circle has a radius of 3 meters, find its area. Okay, so we're using the formula here. Again, the formula is A equals pi r squared. Now, again, the formula, pi is going to get changed into 3.14 for us always today. The other part there says r squared. Well, r is 3. So what I'm looking here for is 3 squared. Well, that's the same as 3.14 times 9. 3 squared is 9. And when I do 3.14 times 9, 3.14 times 9 gives me 28.26. 28.26. And that would be meters squared. circle has a radius of 4.7 inches. Find its area. circle has a radius of 4.7 inches. Find its area. Alright, so again, we're using the same formula here. The exact same formula. The only difference here is now R is something that's not perfect. It's a decimal. So we're going to multiply together 3.14 and 4.7 squared. So you're going to do 4.7 squared. 4.7 squared is 22.09. 3.14 times 22.09. When I multiply those two together, I get 69.3626, and that would be inches squared. All right, now example three is what I mentioned to you I would do earlier. In this one, you have to read it carefully. Circle has a diameter 
of 12 yards. Find its area. Circle has a diameter of 12 yards. Find its area. So, if the diameter is 12 yards, how long is the radius? Six. The radius is 6 yards. All right, once you figure out the radius is 6 yards, then everything else is exactly the same as what we just did. So, same formula, pi r squared, that's 3.14 times 6 squared, 3.14 times 36, 3.14 times 36 gives me 113.04, that would be yards squared. <coughs> come up with the radius based on that information. So you're coming back to, once again, solving equations. A circle has an area of 467.3576 feet squared. How long is its radius? Circle has an area of 467.3576 feet squared. How long is its radius? All right, so I'm writing the formula down again. Now, this time I'm given A. I know that A is this long. 467 number, 467.3576. Pi, well, pi in the formula, again, changes into 3.14. That's not going to change. The thing we don't know here is r squared. Now, we talked about this a few sections ago when we dealt with square roots. If that squared thing bothers you for a moment, cover it up. So if it just says 3.14 times r equals that 467 number, that's a multiplication equation. You have to do multiplication equations by dividing. You're going to have to divide by 3.14. <coughs> Now, when I divide by 3.14, I find out that r squared equals 148.84. Now, that's not my final answer, though. That's r squared. How do I get back to r? I have to then take the square root. Very good. So I take the square root of both parts. And I get that R equals 